Why is a man's voice usually lower than a woman's voice? The pitch of the voice how high or low it sounds depends on the length, tension, and thickness of the vocal cords. Because males have longer vocal cords of up to 1 inch, 2.54 centimeters, in length. The male voice is deeper in pitch, while women and children with shorter cords have higher pitched voices. Vocal cords in women average 0.167 inches, 0.42 centimeters, in length. Testosterone is the hormone that is responsible for the increase of length of male vocal cords during puberty. What are the main causes of nonviral hepatitis? The two main types of nonviral hepatitis are alcoholic hepatitis and toxin slash drug induced hepatitis. Alcoholic hepatitis is the result of excessive drinking and often leads to cirrhosis. The inhalation or ingestion of certain toxins, such as carbon tetrachloride, vinyl chloride, and poisonous mushrooms are causes of hepatitis. Certain drugs including large dosages of the pain reliever acetaminophen may cause hepatitis. How does chyme move through the small intestine? Chyme moves through the small intestine by two different types of contractions. Peristalsis and segmentation. Peristalsis is the rhythmic contractions that move chyme through the gastrointestinal tract. Segmentation involves localized contractions of small segments of the small intestine. These contractions mix the chyme with the secretions of the small intestine, gallbladder, and pancreas. The nutrients are brought into contact with the microvilli in the small intestine. The chyme is slowly propelled toward the ileocecal valve. Unlike peristaltic contractions, which are directional. The contractions of segmentation are not directional. Therefore, in order to keep the chyme moving downward, the duodenum contracts more frequently than the jejunum or ileum. How many distinct regions are in the large intestine? The large intestine consists of three distinct regions, 1, the cecum, 2, the colon, and 3, the rectum. The cecum is the first section of the large intestine below the ileocecal valve. The appendix is attached to the cecum. Since the colon, ascending, transverse, descending, and sigmoid colon, is the largest region of the large intestine. The term colon is often applied to the entire large intestine. The rectum, rectum, anal canal, and anus, is the final region of the large intestine and the end of the digestive tract.
What are some causes of cirrhosis of the liver? The most common causes of cirrhosis in the United States are alcoholism and hepatitis C. Worldwide, hepatitis B is probably the most common cause of cirrhosis. In cirrhosis of the liver, scar tissue replaces normal, healthy tissue. Blocking the flow of blood through the organ and preventing the liver from working as it should. Although liver damage from cirrhosis cannot be reversed. Treatment can stop or delay further progression and reduce complications. What is the role of the small intestine in nutrient processing? The small intestine is the site of most nutrient processing in the body. The first step is to break down the large complex structures of all nutrients, including carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, into smaller units. Most absorption of these nutrients also takes place in the small intestine. What is the purpose of villi? The mucosa layer of the small intestine has many finger-like projections called villi. Villi, from the Latin. Meaning shaggy hairs, and the smaller microvilli increase the surface area of the small intestine dramatically, allowing for greater absorption of nutrients. If the small intestine were a smooth tube without villi, it would have a total absorptive area of 3.6 square feet, 3,344 square centimeters. The existence of villi effectively increases the absorptive area of the small intestine. By a factor of nearly 600 to more than 2,200 square feet, 2,043,800 square centimeters. How many different types of viral hepatitis have been identified? There are five main types of viral hepatitis, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, hepatitis D, and hepatitis E. How much air is required by the body for general activities? The body requires 8 quarts, 7.6 liters, of air per minute when lying down, 16 quarts, 15.2 liters, when sitting. 24 quarts, 22.8 liters, when walking, and 50 quarts, 47.5 liters, when running. Which valve separates the small intestine and the large intestine? The ileocecal valve serves as the boundary between the small intestine and the large intestine. The large intestine frames the small intestine on three sides.
How long do the undigested remains from the digestion process remain in the large intestine? The undigested remains of the digestion process stay in the large intestine for 12 to 36 hours. What type of diet is recommended for individuals with celiac disease? A gluten-free diet is the only treatment for individuals with celiac disease. Celiac disease is an autoimmune digestive disease that damages the small intestine and interferes with absorption of nutrients. The villi in the small intestine are damaged or destroyed whenever. Sufferers of celiac disease eat products that contain gluten. Gluten is found in wheat, rye, and barley. Once the villi are damaged, they are not able to allow nutrients to be absorbed by the bloodstream. Leading to malnutrition. How does diverticulosis differ from diverticulitis? Diverticula are bulging. Sac-like pouches in the wall of the colon that protrude outward from the wall of the colon. Diverticula appear most often in individuals over 40 whose diet is low in fiber. In diverticulosis the pouches are present but the individuals do not have any symptoms or discomfort. In diverticulitis, the diverticula are inflamed and often infected. When undigested food and bacteria are caught in the diverticula, patients experience pain, either constipation or increased frequency of defecation. Nausea, vomiting, and low-grade fever. In severe cases, surgical removal of the infected area of the colon is necessary. Changing to a high-fiber diet usually relieves the symptoms. What is the major purpose of the gallbladder? The gallbladder, from the Latin galbanus, meaning greenish-yellow. A pear-shaped, small sac, is mainly a storage vessel. It is connected by ducts to both the liver and small intestine. It stores bile until it is needed in the duodenum. Its name is derived from its usual color of green from the accumulation of bile. What are the two types of gallstones? Gallstones are hardened masses, stones, of bile. Gallstones form when bile contains too much cholesterol, bile salts, or bilirubin. The two types of gallstones are cholesterol stones and pigment stones. Cholesterol stones are more common, accounting for nearly 80% of all instances of gallstones. They are usually yellow-green in color and are made primarily of hardened cholesterol. An insufficient amount of water may also contribute to the development of cholesterol gallstones.
Pigment stones are small, dark stones made of bilirubin. Which types of hepatitis are risk factors for liver cancer? According to the National Cancer Institute, the most important risk factor for liver cancer is a chronic infection with hepatitis B or hepatitis C. What is phonation? Sound production in the larynx is called phonation. It is one component of speech production that also requires articulation. Or the modification of those sounds by other anatomical structures. These structures include the pharynx, oral cavity, nasal cavity, and paranasal sinuses. This combination determines the particular and distinctive sound of an individual's voice. What are the digestive functions of the liver? The liver has more than 500 vital functions. Its major function as a digestive organ is to produce and secrete bile. Other functions of the liver include separating and filtering waste products from nutrients, storing glucose, and producing many chemical substances, such as cholesterol and albumin. What is bile? Bile is an alkaline liquid composed mostly of water. Bile salts, bile pigments, bilirubin, fats, and cholesterol. It is essential for digestion of fats because it breaks down fats into fatty acids which can then be absorbed by the digestive tract. Which gases are found in flatus? Flatus consists mostly of nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen. Small amount of oxygen, methane, and hydrogen sulfide are also a part of flatus, gas. What is the function of the digestive system? The purpose of digestion is to process food into molecules that can be absorbed and utilized by the cells of the body as a source of energy for growth and reproduction. How do human beings create sound? Air passing over the vocal cords causes them to vibrate from side to side generating sound waves. The frequency of vibration may fluctuate between 50 Hz in a deep bass to 1700 Hz in a high soprano.
What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is inflammation of the liver and commonly results from a viral infection. Hepatitis may either be acute or chronic. Acute hepatitis is short-lived. While chronic hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver that lasts for at least six months. Symptoms of acute hepatitis usually begin suddenly and include loss of appetite. Nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, low-grade fever, fatigue, and jaundice. Jaundice, from the old French jaune. Meaning yellow, is a yellow discoloration of the skin and the whites of the eyes. Many individuals with chronic hepatitis have mild symptoms. Depending on the type of viral hepatitis. It may resolve itself on its own without medical intervention. What is the volume of air in the lungs? The total volume of air the lungs of an average young adult can hold. Also called total lung capacity, TLC, is 5,800 milliliters. This is the combination of the vital capacity, VC. 4,600 milliliters, and the residual volume, RV, 1,200 milliliters. The vital capacity is the maximum volume of air that can be exhaled after taking the deepest breath possible. The residual volume is the volume of air that remains in the lungs even after maximal expiration. What is the importance of pancreatic digestive juices? The pancreatic digestive juices are an alkaline solution, pH 8, composed of many enzymes. These enzymes are able to break down all categories of food. How serious are gallstones? Many individuals who have gallstones are asymptomatic and treatment is not necessary. However, if the stones block a duct, bile may be prevented from entering the small intestine. Surgery is then often recommended to remove the gallbladder. Women between 20 and 60 years of age are twice as likely to develop gallstones as men. How serious are gallstones? Many individuals who have gallstones are asymptomatic and treatment is not necessary. However, if the stones block a duct, bile may be prevented from entering the small intestine. Surgery is then often recommended to remove the gallbladder. Women between 20 and 60 years of age are twice as likely to develop gallstones as men. What is metabolism?
metabolism, from the Greek metabol. Meaning change, refers to the physical and chemical processes involved in the activities of the body. It includes the conversion of nutrients into usable energy contained in ADP, the production and replication of nucleic acids. The synthesis of proteins, the physical construction of cells and cell parts. The elimination of cellular wastes, and the production of heat, which helps regulate the temperature of the body. What is metabolism? Metabolism, from the Greek metabol. Meaning change, refers to the physical and chemical processes involved in the activities of the body. It includes the conversion of nutrients into usable energy contained in ADP, the production and replication of nucleic acids. The synthesis of proteins, the physical construction of cells and cell parts. The elimination of cellular wastes, and the production of heat, which helps regulate the temperature of the body. How do catabolic reactions differ from anabolic reactions? Catabolic and anabolic reactions are metabolic processes. A catabolic reaction is one that breaks down large molecules to produce energy, an example is digestion. An anabolic reaction is one that involves creating large molecules out of smaller molecules. An example is when your body makes fat out of extra nutrients you eat. How do catabolic reactions differ from anabolic reactions? Catabolic and anabolic reactions are metabolic processes. A catabolic reaction is one that breaks down large molecules to produce energy, an example is digestion. An anabolic reaction is one that involves creating large molecules out of smaller molecules. An example is when your body makes fat out of extra nutrients you eat. What are the essential nutrients? There are six essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. The chemistry and basic biology that describes carbohydrates. Fats, proteins, and water are discussed in Chapter 2, Basic Biology. What are the essential nutrients? There are six essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. The chemistry and basic biology that describes carbohydrates. Fats, proteins, and water are discussed in Chapter 2, Basic Biology.
which nutrients are energy nutrients? Energy nutrients are those that provide the body with the majority of the energy needed for daily metabolic reactions. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are energy nutrients. Which nutrients are energy nutrients? Energy nutrients are those that provide the body with the majority of the energy needed for daily metabolic reactions. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are energy nutrients. What is a calorie? A calorie is the amount of energy, heat, required to raise 1 gram, 1 milliliter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. A kilocalorie, kcal, is the amount of energy required to raise 1 kilogram, 1 liter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. The kilocalorie is the unit used to describe the energy value in food. Since the calorie is a relatively small unit of measurement. For example, if a chocolate chip cookie were completely incinerated. The amount of heat energy released would be enough to raise the temperature of 1 liter of water by approximately 300 degrees Celsius. What is a calorie? A calorie is the amount of energy, heat, required to raise 1 gram, 1 milliliter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. A kilocalorie, kcal, is the amount of energy required to raise 1 kilogram, 1 liter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. The kilocalorie is the unit used to describe the energy value in food. Since the calorie is a relatively small unit of measurement. For example, if a chocolate chip cookie were completely incinerated. The amount of heat energy released would be enough to raise the temperature of 1 liter of water by approximately 300 degrees Celsius. What are vitamins and minerals? A vitamin is an organic, non-protein substance that is required by an organism for normal metabolic function but that cannot be synthesized by that organism. In other words, vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Minerals, such as calcium and iron, are inorganic substances that also enhance cell metabolism. Vitamins may be fat or water soluble. What are vitamins and minerals?
A vitamin is an organic, non-protein substance that is required by an organism. For normal metabolic function but that cannot be synthesized by that organism. In other words, vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Minerals, such as calcium and iron, are inorganic substances that also enhance cell metabolism. Vitamins may be fat or water soluble. Which diseases are caused by vitamin deficiencies? Certain diseases are linked to dietary deficiencies of certain vitamins. Insufficient quantities of vitamin C in the diet leads to scurvy. Pellagra results from a lack of niacin, vitamin B3, in the diet. Rickets in children and the related disease of osteomalacia in adults is caused by a lack of vitamin D. Which diseases are caused by vitamin deficiencies? Certain diseases are linked to dietary deficiencies of certain vitamins. Insufficient quantities of vitamin C in the diet leads to scurvy. Pellagra results from a lack of niacin, vitamin B3, in the diet. Rickets in children and the related disease of osteomalacia in adults is caused by a lack of vitamin D. Is it possible to have an overabundance of vitamins? Excessive intake of vitamins may cause health complications as serious as vitamin deficiencies. The clinical term for excessive intake of vitamins is hypervitaminosis. It occurs when the dietary intake of a vitamin exceeds the body's ability to store, utilize, or excrete the vitamin. Hypervitaminosis is most common among the fat-soluble vitamins because the excessive quantities of the vitamins may be stored in lipid tissues. Water-soluble vitamins do not accumulate in the body since they are excreted in urine. Is it possible to have an overabundance of vitamins? Excessive intake of vitamins may cause health complications as serious as vitamin deficiencies. The clinical term for excessive intake of vitamins is hypervitaminosis. It occurs when the dietary intake of a vitamin exceeds the body's ability to store, utilize, or excrete the vitamin. Hypervitaminosis is most common among the fat-soluble vitamins because the excessive quantities of the vitamins may be stored in lipid tissues. Water-soluble vitamins do not accumulate in the body since they are excreted in urine.
Which vitamin is most frequently consumed in excess amounts? Vitamin A toxicity caused by massive dosages, from 10 to thousands of times. The recommended daily allowance, is the most common form of hypervitaminosis. Symptoms of vitamin A overdose include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and lethargy. Chronic overdose can lead to hair loss, joint pain. Hypertension, weight loss, liver enlargement, and possibly death. Which vitamin is most frequently consumed in excess amounts? Vitamin A toxicity caused by massive dosages, from 10 to thousands of times. The recommended daily allowance, is the most common form of hypervitaminosis. Symptoms of vitamin A overdose include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and lethargy. Chronic overdose can lead to hair loss, joint pain. Hypertension, weight loss, liver enlargement, and possibly death. Are vitamin supplements necessary? Vitamin supplements may be a useful addition to the diet of individuals who do not receive all of the nutrients they need from their diet. These individuals cannot or do not eat enough, or do not eat enough of a variety of healthy foods. Are vitamin supplements necessary? Vitamin supplements may be a useful addition to the diet of individuals who do not receive all of the nutrients they need from their diet. These individuals cannot or do not eat enough, or do not eat enough of a variety of healthy foods. What is the food guidance system? The food guidance system, My Pyramid, is an educational tool to help individuals implement the dietary guidelines for Americans published jointly by the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the U. S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. The current system maintains the shape of the familiar food guide pyramid. But it is personalized for age, sex, and individual physical activity levels. The new pyramid symbol in my pyramid features six vertical color bands representing the five food groups and oils. Each food group narrows toward the top to indicate moderation. The stylized symbol of a person climbing the steps is to encourage physical activity. What is the food guidance system? The Food Guidance System, My Pyramid, is an educational tool to help individuals implement the dietary 
Guidelines for Americans published jointly by the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. The current system maintains the shape of the familiar food guide pyramid. But it is personalized for age, sex, and individual physical activity levels. The new pyramid symbol in my pyramid features six vertical color bands representing the five food groups and oils. Each food group narrows toward the top to indicate moderation. The stylized symbol of a person climbing the steps is to encourage physical activity. What is the food guidance system? The food guidance system, My Pyramid, is an educational tool to help individuals implement the dietary guidelines for Americans published jointly by the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, and the U. S. Department of Agriculture, USDA. The current system maintains the shape of the familiar food guide pyramid. But it is personalized for age, sex, and individual physical activity levels. The new pyramid symbol in my pyramid features six vertical color bands representing the five food groups and oils. Each food group narrows toward the top to indicate moderation. The stylized symbol of a person climbing the steps is to encourage physical activity. What is the process of defecation? Defecation is the final step in the digestive process that removes all undigested materials from the body. Defecation involves both voluntary and involuntary actions. When feces fills the rectum, it triggers the defecation reflex. The urge to defecate can be controlled in most individuals except young children and others who have suffered spinal cord injuries. How do the pancreatic enzymes reach the small intestine? The pancreatic enzymes reach the small intestine via the heptatopancreatic duct. This duct is formed by linking the bile duct with the pancreatic duct. The pancreatic secretions are highly alkaline in order to neutralize the acidic chyme. What are the major organs of the digestive system? The digestive system consists of the upper gastrointestinal tract. The lower gastrointestinal tract, and the accessory organs. The organs of the upper gastrointestinal tract are the oral cavity, esophagus, and stomach. The organs of the lower gastrointestinal tract are the small intestine and large intestine, also called the colon. The accessory organs are the salivary glands, the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas.
Are vitamin supplements necessary? Vitamin supplements may be a useful addition to the diet of individuals who do not receive all of the nutrients they need from their diet. These individuals cannot or do not eat enough, or do not eat enough of a variety of healthy foods. What is feces? Feces, from the Latin faex, meaning dregs, is the remaining portion of undigested food. Approximately 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, of feces are produced daily. Feces normally consists of 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, of water and 1.7 ounces, 50 grams, of solid material. The solid material is composed of fat, nitrogen, bile pigments. Undigested foods such as cellulose, and other waste products from the blood of intestinal wall. How does irritable bowel syndrome differ from inflammatory bowel disease? Irritable bowel syndrome is not a disease but a disorder that disrupts the functions of the colon. There is no inflammation of the digestive tract. It is characterized by a group of symptoms. Including crampy abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, and diarrhea. Why is screening for colorectal cancer important? Colorectal cancer is the most common cancer of the digestive system. Screening tests are important to diagnose a disease prior to developing symptoms. When detected in the early stage, the five-year survival rate for colorectal cancer is greater than 90%. In addition, polyps, which are not malignant, may be removed during a screening procedure, thus avoiding cancer. The screening guidelines suggested by the American Cancer Society for both men and women over the age 50 with average risk for colorectal cancer include, 1 a fecal occult blood test, FOBT, or fecal immunochemical test, FIT, every year, or 2 flexible sigmoidoscopy every 5 years, or 3 an FOBT or FIT every year, plus flexible sigmoidoscopy every 5 years. Or 4. Double contrast barium enema every 5 years, or 5. Colonoscopy every 10 years of the first 3 options. The combination of FOBT or FIT every year, plus flexible sigmoidoscopy every 5 years, is preferable. Which nutrients are energy nutrients? Energy nutrients are those that provide the body with the majority of the energy needed for daily metabolic reactions. Carbohydrates, fats, and proteins are energy nutrients.
How are the teeth and tongue involved in chewing? The first stage of mechanical digestion is mastication, or chewing. Initially, the teeth tear and shred large pieces of food into smaller units. The muscles of the tongue, cheeks, and lips help keep the food on the surfaces of the teeth. The tongue then compacts the food into a small round mass of material called the bolus. The salivary glands help lubricate the food with secretions so it is moist. Which diseases are caused by vitamin deficiencies? Certain diseases are linked to dietary deficiencies of certain vitamins. Insufficient quantities of vitamin C in the diet leads to scurvy. Pellagra results from a lack of niacin, vitamin B3, in the diet. Rickets in children and the related disease of osteomalacia in adults is caused by a lack of vitamin D. How long is the digestive tract? The digestive tract, also called the alimentary canal, is approximately 30 feet, 9 meters, long from the mouth to the anus. What is the tongue? The tongue is composed mostly of striated muscle. It is divided into two major sections, the oral or anterior body part and the pharyngeal or posterior part. The oral part is covered with small projections called papillae. These papillae give the tongue its characteristic rough texture. There is also a series of taste buds on the tongue. The tongue aids mechanical digestion and is important for sensory input and speech production. What is metabolism? Metabolism, from the Greek metabol, meaning change, refers to the physical and chemical processes involved in the activities of the body. It includes the conversion of nutrients into usable energy contained in ADP, the production and replication of nucleic acids. The synthesis of proteins, the physical construction of cells and cell parts. The elimination of cellular wastes, and the production of heat, which helps regulate the temperature of the body. What are the essential nutrients? There are six essential nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, vitamins, and minerals. The chemistry and basic biology that describes carbohydrates. Fats, proteins, and water are discussed in Chapter 2, Basic Biology.
which vitamin is most frequently consumed in excess amounts? Vitamin A toxicity caused by massive dosages, from 10 to thousands of times. The recommended daily allowance, is the most common form of hypervitaminosis. Symptoms of vitamin A overdose include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, and lethargy. Chronic overdose can lead to hair loss, joint pain. Hypertension, weight loss, liver enlargement, and possibly death. How much saliva does a person produce in a day? Saliva is a mixture of mucus, water, salts, and the enzymes that break down carbohydrates. A wake individual secretes saliva at a rate of approximately 0.5 milliliters per minute. Or an average of 480 milliliters of saliva in a 16-hour waking day. Various activities such as exercise, eating, drinking, and speaking increase salivary volume. What is the major function of the upper gastrointestinal tract? The upper gastrointestinal tract is the site of food processing. Most mechanical digestion occurs in the upper gastrointestinal tract. Which two diseases are considered inflammatory bowel diseases? Inflammatory bowel disease, IBD is the general term for diseases that cause inflammation in the intestines. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis belong to the group of illnesses known as IBDs. Crohn's disease may affect any part of the digestive tract, but it most often affects the ileum. Ulcerative colitis occurs only in the inner lining of the colon, the large intestine, and the rectum. Abdominal pain and diarrhea are the most common symptoms of both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Both diseases are chronic, ongoing diseases, although periods of remission of not uncommon. What is the purpose of primary teeth? Primary teeth, also known as baby, deciduous, from the Latin decidus or decidere. Meaning to fall down or off, temporary. Or milk, for their milk white color, teeth serve many of the same purposes as permanent teeth. They are needed for chewing and they are necessary for speech development. They also prepare the mouth for the permanent teeth by maintaining space for the permanent teeth to emerge in proper alignment. Each individual has 20 primary teeth followed by 32 permanent teeth. Is it possible to have an overabundance of vitamins?
excessive intake of vitamins may cause health complications as serious as vitamin deficiencies. The clinical term for excessive intake of vitamins is hypervitaminosis. It occurs when the dietary intake of a vitamin exceeds the body's ability to store, utilize, or excrete the vitamin. Hypervitaminosis is most common among the fat-soluble vitamins because the excessive quantities of the vitamins may be stored in lipid tissues. Water-soluble vitamins do not accumulate in the body since they are excreted in urine. How do catabolic reactions differ from anabolic reactions? Catabolic and anabolic reactions are metabolic processes. A catabolic reaction is one that breaks down large molecules to produce energy, an example is digestion. An anabolic reaction is one that involves creating large molecules out of smaller molecules. An example is when your body makes fat out of extra nutrients you eat. What are some diagnostic procedures used to examine the digestive tract? Several diagnostic tests are available to examine organs of the digestive tract and to determine causes of abdominal pain and disorders that affect the digestive system. Some of the commonly performed screening tests are colonoscopy, flexible sigmoidoscopy, endoscopy, upper GI series and lower GI series X-rays. ERCP, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, and liver biopsy. Colonoscopy allows a physician to look inside the entire large intestine. It is used to detect early signs of cancer in the colon and rectum. Flexible sigmoidoscopy allows a physician to examine the inside of the large intestine. From the rectum through the sigmoid or descending colon, the last part of the colon. It is used to detect the early signs of cancer in the descending colon and rectum. Upper endoscopy allows a physician to look inside the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. This procedure is used to discover the reason for swallowing difficulties. Nausea, vomiting, reflux, bleeding, indigestion, abdominal pain, or chest pain. The upper GI series uses X-rays to diagnose problems in the esophagus, stomach, and duodenum. Ulcers, scar tissue, abnormal growths, hernias, or areas where something is blocking. The normal path of food through the digestive system are visible with the upper GI series. The lower GI series uses X-rays to diagnose problems in the large intestine, including the colon and rectum. Problems such as abnormal growths, ulcers, polyps, diverticuli, and colon cancer may be diagnosed through a lower GI series. ERCP, endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, enables a physician to diagnose and treat problems in the liver, gallbladder, bile ducts, and pancreas. 
liver biopsy is performed when other liver function tests reveal the liver is not working properly. It allows a physician to examine a small sample of liver tissue for signs of damage or disease. Which organs are considered accessory organs to the digestive system? The pancreas, liver, and gallbladder are accessory organs in digestion. None of these organs are a part of the digestive tract that begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. But they contribute important chemicals, enzymes, and lubricants necessary for the functioning of the digestive system. What are vitamins and minerals? A vitamin is an organic, non-protein substance that is required by an organism for normal metabolic function but that cannot be synthesized by that organism. In other words, Vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Minerals, such as calcium and iron, are inorganic substances that also enhance cell metabolism. Vitamins may be fat or water soluble. How many different types of teeth are in the mouth? The three major types of teeth are incisors, cuspids, canines, and molars. All teeth have the same basic structure, consisting of a root, a crown, and a neck. The root is embedded in the socket in the jaw. The crown is the portion that projects up from the gum. The neck, surrounded by gum, forms the connection between the root and the crown. The different types of teeth perform different functions. The incisors, located at the front of the mouth, are blade-shaped and suited for clipping or cutting. Incisors are important to bite off pieces of food. Located next to the incisors are the cuspids or canines. Their characteristic pointed tips make them suitable for tearing, shearing, and shredding food. Both premolas, also called bicuspids, and molars have flattened crowns with prominent ridges. They are essential for crushing and grinding food. How much pancreatic digestive juice is secreted daily? Nearly 1.6 quarts, 1.5 liters, of digestive juices are secreted by the cells of the pancreas daily. What is a calorie? A calorie is the amount of energy, heat, required to raise 1 gram, 1 milliliter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. A kilocalorie, 
kcal, is the amount of energy required to raise 1 kg, 1 liter, of water by 1 degree Celsius. The kilocalorie is the unit used to describe the energy value in food. Since the calorie is a relatively small unit of measurement. For example, if a chocolate chip cookie were completely incinerated. The amount of heat energy released would be enough to raise the temperature of 1 liter of water by approximately 300 degrees Celsius. When a person swallows solid or liquid food, what prevents it from going down the windpipe? Once food is chewed, voluntary muscles move it to the throat. In the pharynx, throat, automatic, involuntary reflexes take over. The epiglottis closes over the larynx, voice box, which leads to the windpipe. A sphincter at the top of the esophagus relaxes, allowing the food to enter the digestive tract. Which cells of the pancreas secrete enzymes? The pancreas, which also functions as an endocrine gland as described in the chapter on the endocrine system, consists of both endocrine and exocrine cells. The acinar cells, also called acini, from the Latin meaning grapes because their structure resembles clusters of grapes, are responsible for secreting digestive enzymes. What gives feces its color? The normal brown color of feces is caused by bilirubin. Blood and foods containing large amount of iron will darken the feces. Excessive fat from the diet causes feces to be a more pale color. What is the composition of saliva? Nearly 99.5% of the total composition of saliva is water. The remaining 0.5% consists of ions, such as potassium, chloride, sodium and phosphates, which serve as buffers and activate the enzymatic activity. An important enzyme in saliva is salivary amylase. It breaks down complex carbohydrates, such as starches, into smaller molecules that can be absorbed by the digestive tract. What is constipation? Constipation may be defined as the passage of small amounts of hard, dry bowel movements. Constipation is the result of too much water being absorbed into the colon. In addition, when the fecal material moves through the colon at a slow rate. More water is absorbed, resulting in hard, dry feces. Diets high in fiber help prevent constipation.
What are some common causes of diarrhea? Diarrhea, which is frequent, loose, watery bowel movements. May be caused by infections or other intestinal disorders. Diarrhea may be associated with both bacterial and viral infections. Common bacteria, such as Campylobacter, Salmonella, Shigella, and Escherichia coli. Consumed in contaminated food and slash or water will cause diarrhea. Many viruses cause diarrhea, including rotavirus, Norwalk virus, cytomegalovirus, herpes simplex virus, and viral hepatitis. In addition to bacterial and viral infections, parasites, including Giardia lamblia, Entamoeba histolytica, and Cryptosporidium, may enter the body through food and water and cause diarrhea. Several disorders, including irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, and side effects of medication may also cause diarrhea. Most cases of diarrhea often resolve themselves without medical intervention. It is important to prevent dehydration by replacing fluids and electrolytes. It is usually recommended to avoid milk products, greasy foods, very sweet foods, and foods that are high in fiber until the diarrhea has subsided. Bland foods may then be slowly reintroduced to the diet. How serious are gallstones? Many individuals who have gallstones are asymptomatic and treatment is not necessary. However, if the stones block a duct, bile may be prevented from entering the small intestine. Surgery is then often recommended to remove the gallbladder. Women between 20 and 60 years of age are twice as likely to develop gallstones as men. Which structures form the oral cavity? The oral cavity, also called the buccal, from the Latin bucca, meaning cheek, cavity, is formed by the mouth, lips, and cheeks. The teeth, tongue, palate, and salivary glands are associated with the oral cavity. How do saturated fats differ from unsaturated fats? Saturated fats and unsaturated fats are dietary fats. Saturated fats do not have double bonds between their carbon atoms and are solids at room temperature. Unsaturated fats have one or more double bonds between their carbon atoms and are liquids at room temperature. They are considered to be oils. Polyunsaturated fats have many double bonds. How do saturated fats differ from unsaturated fats?
saturated fats and unsaturated fats are dietary fats. Saturated fats do not have double bonds between their carbon atoms and are solids at room temperature. Unsaturated fats have one or more double bonds between their carbon atoms and are liquids at room temperature. They are considered to be oils. Polyunsaturated fats have many double bonds. What are trans fatty acids? Trans fatty acids, or trans fats, are made when manufacturers add hydrogen to liquid vegetable oil, a process called hydrogenation, creating solid fats like shortening and hard margarine. Hydrogenation increases the shelf life and flavor stability of foods containing these fats. Diets high in trans fat raise the LDL, low density lipoprotein, or bad cholesterol. Increasing the risk for coronary heart disease. What are trans fatty acids? Trans fatty acids, or trans fats, are made when manufacturers add hydrogen to liquid vegetable. Oil a process called hydrogenation creating solid fats like shortening and hard margarine. Hydrogenation increases the shelf life and flavor stability of foods containing these fats. Diets high in trans fat raise the LDL, low density lipoprotein, or bad cholesterol. Increasing the risk for coronary heart disease. Which foods contain trans fats? Cakes, crackers, cookies, snack foods, and other foods made with or fried in partially. Hydrogenated oils are the largest source, 40%, of trans fats in the American diet. Animal products and margarine are also major sources of trans fats. Since January 2006, the U.S. government has directed that the amount of trans fat in a product must be included in the Nutrition Facts panel on food labels. Which foods contain trans fats? Cakes, crackers, cookies, snack foods, and other foods made with or fried in partially. Hydrogenated oils are the largest source, 40%, of trans fats in the American diet. Animal products and margarine are also major sources of trans fats. Since January 2006, the U.S. government has directed that the amount of trans fat in a product must be included in the Nutrition Facts panel on food labels. What are eating disorders? Eating disorders are medical illnesses in which patients become obsessed with food and their body weight. 
Research indicates that more than 90% of those who have eating disorders are women between the ages of 12 and 25. The main types of eating disorders are anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. A third disorder, binge eating disorder, is still being investigated by researchers. What are eating disorders? Eating disorders are medical illnesses in which patients become obsessed with food and their body weight. Research indicates that more than 90% of those who have eating disorders are women between the ages of 12 and 25. The main types of eating disorders are anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa. A third disorder, binge eating disorder, is still being investigated by researchers.